There's a lot going on with Brianna K. She's rage cleaning on Instagram to No Scrub by TLC. Brad is back on Hinge, which is a dating app. Brie took a solo wellness trip, and Brad took a trip with his friends down to Florida. For months now, we've been talking about the possibility of Brie and Brad breaking up. Rumors have been swirling on the internet. Brie and Brad will follow and unfollow each other. Brie stopped showing him on Instagram. She took pictures down in her house with Brad in them. A lot has been going on in the last few months. Brie hasn't acknowledged any of this, which I don't think anyone thought that she would, but she did spend New Year's Eve with Brad and her kids and some friends and their kids. They were at her house celebrating and they even shared a New Year's kiss. Like a New Year's at home with the kids, like game night fun kind of thing. And so I got these really fun, aren't these pajamas like perfect? There's a lot of speculation out there on the internet about their relationship. Some people think they're unfollowing and following each other just to cause a little drama and to get some engagement on their platforms. Some people think they actually broke up and maybe got back together. Other people think they're definitely having issues because all of this is going on. And who would do all of this for engagement? I don't know, I guess it's possible, but after they shared a New Year's kiss, everybody was like, okay, well, they're together. They look like they're together. Then Brie took a solo vacation to the beach. And Brie refers to this trip as a wellness weekend. And she has other wellness weekends planned in 2024. During this trip, she acknowledged that she's been struggling. She's been depressed. She lost some friendships. And she also brings up Small World Vacation, saying that it was the best business deal she's ever had. Some viewers were saying that they were proud of Brie for investing in her wellness and being brave enough to travel solo. But if you guys have been watching Brie for a while, you know that she's not new to traveling solo. She did it for her job years ago. And she has said she enjoys it. Travel is her love language. Brie answered this question. One thing you've learned from divorce. Brie said, my alone feels so good. I'll only have you if you're sweeter than my solitude. How do you afford so many trips? Brie said, start a YouTube channel. Work with a travel agent who can get you awesome pricing and perks. And she tagged her travel agent, which is not Small World Vacations. And you can find credit cards that offer travel perks. Brie said she also uses Hopper for cheap flights. Brie said that she was not who she wanted to be by the end of 2023, physically, mentally, and emotionally. She was letting the pain she was feeling from the loss of a marriage and the loss of friends and the loss of the best business deal she's ever had. The pain from those things manifest itself in ways to mask it, not heal it. Bree said she needed to actually heal. She needed to focus on wellness and get back to a healthier, happier person. And it brings her tremendous joy to travel and she realized she needed alone time or else she would just do what makes other people happy. What business deal did you lose? Please tell me Captain Queen isn't going anywhere. Bree said, oh, I'm sorry, not Captain Queen. I lost my dream partnership and at the same time I lost some best friends and it sent me into a really dark private depression for a long time. I'm crying just typing this. Still have a lot of healing to do, which is why these wellness weekends matter so much. Brie was working with Small World Vacations, and I believe they were paying for some, if not all, of her trips to Disney. They were paying for behind-the-scenes tours and upgrades. I mean, when she said this was her best business deal ever, I believe her because Disney is expensive. Brie said she was hired to be a real housewife of Disney, and... It wasn't accountability, it was jealousy. She also said being an adult on a girl's trip and having a drink and a good time isn't a crime. Bree said, gossip channels have taken away so many of my dreams and business opportunities, so your words mean so much. Bree claims she was just on a girl's trip having a drink, which is no crime, but I think Small World Vacations looks at this very differently. She was working. She was representing a travel agency, Small World Vacations, on that trip. And at that time, Magic Kingdom only served alcohol 
at sit-down restaurants. Allegedly, Brie snuck the red Solo cup and the wine into Magic Kingdom. And Small World Vacations didn't care for her behavior, and they have the right to choose who they want to represent their agency. And because of Bree's behavior, they decided to part ways. This is a statement from Small World Vacations. We definitely do not support open liquor and drunken behavior. We will be sure to consider your feedback in regards to future promotions. Brad had a lot to say about Bree's behavior at Magic Kingdom too. He left this comment on the Gossip Bakery. Oh, and about Brie having a glass of wine, she heard from me about it too. It wasn't the best made decision at Magic Kingdom. A lapse in judgment, obscured by the girls celebrating her friend, hitting 30,000 followers. She isn't perfect. She knows it just as I do. None of us are. She just lives life under a microscope. On Brie's wellness weekend, she said she reflected a lot about this through journaling. And she was very sad that her marriage ended. And she leaned on her best friend's and going to her happy place to distract herself, but it was just a band-aid over a deep wound. She needed more healing, but didn't take time to do it. So when she lost best friends and opportunities, it was like the band-aid was ripped off and the wound reopened and it was even deeper than before. Bree says, you can't just ignore it. You have to feel the pain and take steps to heal it properly. No quick fixes. Brie has more wellness weekends planned. In February, she's going to Malibu, April, Palm Springs, June, Hawaii, and she's planning other months with her travel agent. Brad left a comment on Brie's post about her wellness weekend. He said, I'm happy for you. Looks like a perfect wellness weekend. Not too long after her wellness weekend trip, Brad unfollowed Brie again on Instagram. And a lot of viewers think they just do this to stir up engagement. Bree says that her and Brad met on a dating app. I believe she said Bumble. Brad decided to make a new profile over on Hinge, which is a dating app. Google says Hinge is better for long-term relationships and meaningful conversations. Hinge's premium features are more expensive than Tinder's. Tinder's more focused on hookups and casual dating. Sometime during all of this drama, Bree unfollows Brad as well. Brad's Hinge profile says he likes fun things in life and he's comfortable with relaxing nights at home. Without a healthy balance, one or the other will burn you out and lead to frustration. Brad says his love language is definitely quality time and physical touch. On the flip side... He's known to give a lot in the way of time, energy, and to help others. Here's another screenshot of Brad's profile. It says, new here. Next, Brad posted an Instagram reel of his trip to Florida. Someone left this comment, where's Brie? A viewer said, judging by her stories and unfollowing him, I'd say they've split up. Before we get into Brie's Instagram stories, let's take a look at Brad's boys trip. Here's a picture of them at the bar with a woman with blonde hair. I'm not sure where they spent the night, but the bottom picture shows two guys sleeping on the couch and this picture. She has her arm around Brad. I cannot see Brad's arm wrapped around her. I don't know where his arm is, but this is an interesting picture. This lady posted all of these pictures of Brad and his friends on Facebook, and she wrote about last night. Brad left this comment on her pictures. Hey, is my shirt okay? Laughing emoji. She said no, haha. Ha. Take it off now. What do you think about this picture? I think Brie saw this picture. Brie knows what's up because her stories on Instagram said so much yesterday. She seems upset. It doesn't seem like just a clean break. She seems hurt, maybe even betrayed. Cozy little rage clean. Brie said she's doing some rage cleaning. And a rage cleaning is the act of performing household chores while angry. The first song Brie plays is No Scrubs by TLC. You know that song. Scrub is a guy that thinks he's fly. He's also known as a busta, always talking about what he wants, but just sits on his broke ass. Next, Brie plays the song Feather by Sabrina Carpenter. Some of the lyrics are, I slam the door, I hit ignore. I'm saying no, no, no more. I got you blocked after all this. An afterthought. I finally cut you off. Then as she's taking the trash out, she writes, as Taylor says, trash always takes itself out. Brie played another song as well. Some of the lyrics were, you reap what you sow. I'll be loving myself like you never loved me. People online are saying, Brie is salty. 
It's kind of hard for me to feel bad for her. When she got with Brad the second she returned home from Hawaii, she completely took over his boat and went into a business with this man she barely knew. She rushed into it. That's a lot of drama. What do you think about Brad's Hinge dating profile? Now remember, he was just at Bree's house on January 1st, kissing her on New Year's. Do you think Brad's moving on quickly? Why do you think Bree is so upset? If they're not together, Brad has every right to go on a guy's trip, hang out with a girl at a bar, and take a picture. If they broke up, he has every right to date. Obviously, there's stuff going on behind the scenes that we're not aware of, but what do you think about everything? Leave a comment. For more Brianna K drama videos, check out this video next. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. See you next time.